people who are no longer best friends with someone. What happened? We just grew apart. I think I reached out to her once to ask how she was doing and didn't really get a response, so I just kind of decided that was that. When I stopped people pleasing and set boundaries, she slept with my then boyfriend. The most boring tragedy of my life. He tried to sleep with my wife. Knew him for 30 plus YRS when he tried to sleep with my wife. I was in a group of friends who started bullying a person I knew out of nowhere. I told them I was not okay with that. They soon started hanging out without inviting me. I am still very glad I did what I did. Edit. Typos. What's a TV show that you hated, that was generally loved by everyone? Masked Singer. Everyone just acts so cringe on the show especially the judges or whatever they are. It literally feels like a parody show in Grand Theft Auto or Idiocracy or something. Underscore American Idol underscore. After a few seasons it became clear that the purpose of this show and all singing shows now, is to prop up the hosts, judges to further their careers. The actual singers are an afterthought. Love Island. I don't understand the hype for shows like that. It's just vain people being vain and backstabbing each other. I don't find that fun to watch. Any competitions when there's a sob story. The Big Bang Theory. What should be at least 5x cheaper than it is? EpiPen. For something that could potentially save a life shouldn't cost that much. Some people even carry an expired EpiPen because they can't afford to get a new one. Printer Ink. Education. Insulin. Medicine. As a pharmacy owner, you guys have no idea how dirt cheap some medicines are. Generic prednisone costs just a few cents. Some ampules cost just a dollar. Cheapest birth control costs less than a dollar. It's that fucked up. Funerals. Edit. When I die I'm getting turned into a tree. Dental work. I think that dental should be covered by health insurance. It makes no sense why it's not. Transaction fees. College textbooks. They are charging insane prices and switching the required books often. What modern president, post WW2, has done the most damage to America? Ronald Reagan. There's a clear link between so much of the shit going wrong right now to his presidency. Everything from economic policies, foreign policies, the fact that we have billionaires now, HIV, AIDS, and the general attitude the US takes towards pandemics, epidemics, disease in general homelessness, the unionization, wage stagnation, the prison industrial complex, drug offenses, to frigging high fructose corn syrup. Ronald Reagan's hand is in every single part of American life. The man woke up every day and chose something to fuck up. It's Reagan. What is completely okay but most people think it's rude. If you are the host of a party, ending the party and asking everyone to leave. Declining an invitation or just saying no to something because you simply don't want to do it without making up some bullshit excuse why. My aunt taught me to say, no, I already have plans. The plans could be to lay in your bed or binge watch a show or whatever. You don't have to explain your plans. I've never had anyone ask me what, why after I give them that line. If someone asks to pet your dog, you're allowed to say no. Telling someone, no especially at work or in a romantic relationship. 